Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to devlog number 11. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about stamina and melee overhaul. Uh, some updated information for you guys since the last devlog covering this topic. Uh, we did a poll in the Discord, as you guys can see on uh, this clip. Uh, you guys voted for it. Uh, I'll try to do more of the, these type of voting situations for new topics and teasers in the future. But uh, yeah, moving on to the topic. Alright, so our first topic is the calculation changes to stamina regen and stamina usage. However, it is important to know that stamina regen is obviously different than how it currently is. Currently on the main server, uh, if you guys may remember, whenever you regen stamina, it is pretty much half your stamina at a time. It's really weird. So the math, however, is still roughly the same. It just happens more often. Obviously, I toned it down for about, about the time difference there, but the regen is still similar. Uh, so it's about 8% of your max stamina if you have food and 4% without food. This is how it's been. The food is not a new change. That was how it was. Um, and then times your race class offset, which, you know, each race and class will have a different one. Just like uh, your melee damage, defense, all those class offsets, you know. Uh, and then moving on to stamina usage, it would be your strength stat divided by 10. And then before there was a config value that was set to 0.7. So I removed the config value and instead it's just so it's again 10% of your stamina and then just time your times your race class offset. Um but yeah, I just got rid of the 0 0.7 and obviously we're accompanying for that. And again, there is going to be uh these offsets for each race and class respectively, just same as damage, whatever, for uh race racial class, right? Uh that were not there before, so obviously the calculation is gonna be different. And we're trying to we're trying to keep the overall stamina usage somewhat around where it was but we do have combo attacks to talk to you guys about so i'll talk to you guys about those right here so combo attacks have not changed much since we last spoke about them you you can get up to combo seven combo seven being 1.2 times damage of course uh you do not however get any more stamina usage with your combo obviously it is just a game of keeping your stamina up at le while you're at combo seven for a few hits and then obviously run out of stamina go jump out of combat and of course once you start regenerating stamina your combo resets as well as other resets at other times as well so do keep that in mind once you get to uh combo seven uh you're gonna want to try and maintain that for that little extra 20 percent damage so i think combo is a pretty cool thing i'm very happy about all right this. guys and next up i'm gonna delve into this a little bit we mentioned previously in teasers that key drain is being changed for forms uh, we are also adding stamina usage and stamina regen per form. It'll be a very minor amount. It's more in place for forms like Full Power Super Saiyan, uh, Full Power Final Arcosian, because that uh, Full Power Final Arcosian is going to have a, a decent amount of stamina usage and less regen, as well as Golden, because that's a big thing with Golden. So, yeah. Uh, talking about Key Drain, I have Hex Series. Also, going to talk to you guys about the new usage and regen. We're going to get right into that right now. All right, guys, there's a lot of stuff that we've been doing for making changes to the drain on all the forms, along with, you know, really trying to see what the issues were that a lot of players seem to be having. And especially at the beginning of, you know, unlocking a new form, the key drain was at its highest, you know. Why would you have the key drain be so high when you've just unlocked? Especially for those, you know, second form and Super Saiyan, because players often don't even have that much in spirit at that point, so they just kind of get in this situation where they can't use the form, so they can't really progress. So what we've done is, if you look at the chart, we've reduced the beginning key drain, and then it kind of ramps up with the form over time. So as your multi goes up, your key drain is going up. And that stops at a peak at around level four. And then as it goes further down with five and six, it is going to start going back down again especially with things like full power super saiyan or super saiyan grade it is going to be a lot lower than the actual standard super saiyan and also with implementing level six to this it's going to allow us to you know overall improve the key drain because even though right now it you know at level five it looks pretty bad you know where it's a lot lower of a key drain and a lot higher with the new one that the level six is overall going to make it a lot better. So adding level six in addition to, you know, this rescale will overall make forms a lot easier on new players and a little bit better on, you know, returning players by adding a little bit more of a challenge. So that's kind of what we're going to do. 